Hi folks and welcome back to the vlog. Look who I've got in the house. It's Penny German. Hello. Hi Penny. Great Hi. to see you. Thanks for coming. So let's crack straight on. These are the three top pro tips from Penny who's going to give us um, the things she wish she knew when she was starting out. Yeah. So, I think I possibly, the... I possibly knew them, but hadn't really thought it through. But anyway, um... <laughs> well, everyone else is going to know them now. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, dedication, Penny. What's that one look like? Right. Well, now this is interesting because I have had a lot of people come in, that come to workshops, and a lot of people say, "Oh, I wish I had the time to paint," and I just think you do it's about <laughs> prioritizing and it, the thing is if you if you really want to make a business out of it you have to prioritize and um you know you can go to the gym and take the dog for a walk and all the rest of it but once, once you get that passion those things sort of slip into the background poor dog and um you know you just it, it takes over and you just want to paint the whole time did so, you find um, you nurtured that from the beginning though was it something was it for you a slow start or did you just burst into it on the scene yeah i didn't burst into it in fact when i was at art school i remember a tutor saying to me um if you want this you have to live breathe and sleep art and i thought what? I'm 18 years old. Come on, I've got parties to go to. So, <laughs> but then, you know, when you when you really get into it, when you start wanting that, then it just overtakes you. And now, I, you know, if I'm two days away from an easel, I'm a bit tetchy. So, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose. So badly, badly. I suppose it goes for any industry, really. I, you get out of it what you put into it. Yes. Exactly, exactly. But the other thing I think people don't realise is that it's not just the painting, it's mm. there's a lot of admin and a lot of marketing. And so I used to try and fit that all around the painting time. Um, and so now I set myself a day a week. So Tuesday, haha, is my admin day. Okay. And that I don't go near the easel. Oh, that's interesting. So you actually set aside a complete day for things. Like, is, is that including marketing as well? It includes marketing, admin. I wouldn't say I always achieve everything I want to, but it's, you know, that day. Right. And then, you know, if I do a Pilates class, it's a Tuesday or whatever. Okay. So I do everything. So you don't, mind, you don't mind interrupting the, the paperwork <laughs> day for a bit of Pilates? No. <laughs> No, I can find a reason to interrupt. Them. Brilliant. Oh, well, that's great. That's a fantastic idea. Um, so style. Now, what do you mean by this exactly? Well, well, I don't know about everybody else, but when I started out, I kind of tried everything, which is a good thing. It is a yeah. good thing. But once you decide you want to make this your business, you have to find your style and you but more importantly if you have to produce a cohesive body of work so mm. if you want to do an art fair or, a, or if you want to approach somebody like you i mean what would you say if somebody came to you and said i I'm, or sent you six images by email and there was like a dog portrait and then there was a abstract landscape and a representational still life and you know various things you'd think mm. no you're dead right I mean it would be it would be in fact I have this quite a bit where people come to me and I can't see what you're talking about a cohesive yeah. style even if it is a dog and it is you know I do you know uh, I do have some artists that paint maybe a landscape and then also do an animal or something but you can tell it's them each time yeah, exactly exactly yeah. So, you know, I could recognise Claire Henley anywhere or yeah. Robert Wilson. I, I, would, I could go into a, a gallery and say that's a Robin Mason. Right. And that's, that's what you're, you're after. I mean, don't, 
by that I don't mean you should never explore or you know you should be always moving your work on but um, you you will get a recognized style and people will know who you are okay well that's brilliant advice and you're dead right I agree with you entirely that um that without a cohesive body of work and without a physical style like you have yeah. like Robin you say and Claire and everybody else you know it a million miles away without yeah. that it becomes as a gallerist becomes very difficult to market you too because mm -hmm. I can't say what you're going to be doing next week and if you a collector's bought something with a style and then you do a completely different style yeah I can't work with that you know yeah. so it's, it is yeah. super important so top tip yeah. top tip yeah. um your last piece here your audience talk me through that one yeah you have to find people to like your work I mean you can sit in your studio and paint all day but you have to get it out there so um I well I think I started with actually I started with a painting a day and that that was a big thing at the time and um I just committed to doing a still life every day and started a blog and at the same time I started going to smaller art fairs and then you can sort of progress um as you go along but it people are quite shy about getting themselves out there yeah you, you really shouldn't be because you know nobody's gonna say that's rubbish. People don't. <laughs> yeah. And um, you, you know, you just put yourself out there, get some business cards made, chat to people. And if you go to art fairs or arts festivals, you'll meet other artists. I think Claire was saying this. You meet, yeah. And you meet your people. You meet people. And I've made lots of, you know, painting friends and we go out painting together and, you know, and you get lots of advice from right. other people and you can chew the cud and say have you done this art fair and they might say yeah that's a really good one or whatever you know whatever you need to know and but, um when you started out like i have in my book did you line all your ducks up did you prepare the website and then get your social media feeds ready and everything else or did you just sort of fumble your way through at the very beginning how was fumbled. it completely <laughs> fumbled <laughs> <laughs> um, and I and I wasn't very hot on social media at all, but it used to scare the life out of me. So I think I, th I think that's something I would say. Start with one, um, either Facebook or probably Instagram. Instagram's the best by far for artists okay. because it's visual. Yeah. And um, you know, just just learn. Don't try and run before you can walk. Just try. You know, just post. Get, get a business account, this is what you say in your book, get a business account set up for Instagram and just turn up every day. Yeah. You know, even if you haven't got a finished painting to show, you can do a video of what you're doing and, and people do love it. So, you know, don't mm. be afraid to, no. to get, I mean, I hate, I hate videoing myself. So I rarely do that on Instagram. Right. But if, you, if you're happy with that, then, um, you know, go for it talk to people yeah it's like i say as you mentioned in the book it's about being there every single day that's how you grow a social media account isn't it is to is to just keep posting every day and yeah. people, if you if you turn up other people will turn up exactly and you can post your work on your feed and use the stories to to show who you are you yeah. know something about your studio or you know a day in the life of people are interested <laughs> well that's really great advice Fan fantastic uh, stuff yeah. really great penny thanks so much for that i'm sure people will take a lot from that i know yeah. i have um i'm going to leave you with some uh, a little run through penny's work so you can have a look how fabulous she is and uh, yeah. we'll see you next week with some more top tips so yeah. thanks penny Bye. 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 Thanks.